The islands of the Bahamas is an amazing place filled with ecological treasures. Our islands contain a wide variety of unique and amazing animals, many of which are found nowhere else on earth. Bahamian birds are a common feature of our environment, but one species, the Bahama parrot, is truly in a class of its own. In March of 2018, the Bahamas National Trust sent science officer Scott Johnson and population ecologist Frank Rivera Milan to Abaco to conduct a population survey of the Pirates of Abaco. The cold, silent Abaco Pineland mornings quickly come alive with the chorus of dozens of Abaco Pirates squawking in concert, advertising their presence. For over a week, Dr. Milan and I visited various locations in South Great Abaco, recording every parrot that was seen or heard. We also used rangefinders to get the distance of the birds from us and a clicker to help us count how many individuals were seen. Sometimes a curious pirate would fly into our area to investigate us. Abaco contains the second largest population of pirates in the Bahamas, second only to Inagua. These birds can be found in a variety of habitats. During the breeding season, they nest in the pinelands. Unlike okay. other parrots, the Abaco Bahama parrot population is the only population to habitually nest in underground limestone holes, a clear adaptation to life in the pinelands. What many people do not know is that the coppice forest is an important foraging and roosting habitat for parrots, as Dr. Milan explains. This coppice that is uh, in the coastal area between crossing rocks and places like uh, uh, Bahama Palm Shores, the Delphi Club, uh, actually very much down to Cherokee Sound, is very important for the parrot, particularly during the non-reproductive uh, season. Because uh, it provides a lot of food during that time. Uh, they use it uh, very much to fly between pine forests and areas of food. And uh, conserving this coastal habitat is of prime, prime importance for, for the parrot because it fulfills part of the cycle that uh, the animal lives outside the pine forest. Bahama parrots feed on a wide variety of native fruit trees such as this camelomy, and can often be seen in flocks partaking of its bounty. Their strong beaks can make quick work of tough fruit seeds. Fruits such as mastic and white torch are also consumed. After our surveys were done, the information was analyzed using distance software. Uh, 
So, based on our preliminary analysis, the point estimate for the Abaco pirate population is 8,832 birds. The BNT staff on Abaco has been working hard to help the Abaco pirate population. Park wardens like Marcus Davis do a great job with invasive species removal. Invasive animals like feral cats are a deadly threat to pirates as they kill both chicks and nesting females. Another important threat is fire. This fire and it's now going to burn through the understory. I guess this is for, uh, I don't know, probably hunting purposes or whatever. I'm not 100% sure. But this is an intentional fire. There was no thunderstorms in the area. And now this fire is taking off into the forest. Now, it's coming up to the breeding season for the Bahama Pirates. Now you know that the Bahama Pirate does use um, the limestone solution holes. But this right here is ridiculous because the more they continue with these senseless burnings of, of the vegetation, the understory vegetation, the, the more likely that the, the habitat is going to become a um, a bracken fern understory, which would make it um, unattractive to Bahama pirates. Often after a fire, the once diverse understory is taken over by an opportunistic plant called bracken fern. fern is native to the Bahamas, but in this particular case, this is a real problem because nesting pirates, they look for more open areas with a diversity of uh, low coppice shrubs under it and a nice rocky, um, a nice rocky habitat to, to, um, to nest. And when you have all of this bracken fern, this discourages the pirates from wanting to use the habitat. Protecting our pirates and the habitats they live in is important to ensure the survival of this species. By supporting conservation organizations like the Bahamas National Trust, you help to safeguard these incredible birds from extinction. Let's do our part and our best to keep our birds alive, wild.